Katie, thank you. During the past year, many Americans have struggled with trying to make some kind of sense out of the events of September 11th, questioning their faith and, of course, their spirituality. One person who's tried to address these issues in depth is Cardinal Edward Egan, the leader of the Archdiocese of New York. Your Eminence, good morning. Thanks for being here. Good morning, Matt. It's a pleasure to be here. I, I know people have turned to the church, to their religious leaders, with a lot of questions over these past 12 months. What questions have you heard most often? Well, the question that I think so many ask, of course, is how in the world could Providence allow such a thing to happen? But you know, Matt, we have seen here in New York such demonstrations of selflessness and goodness and compassion that I think that one answer we can give is that we've had a lesson of true goodness and even, I would say, holiness here in this wonderful town of ours over the last year. I've seen heroism such as I never expected to see. When I leave the mayor's celebration this morning, I'll be going over to St. Peter's Church, which is one closest to ground zero. And I want to tell you, Matt, that the priests and the people of that parish have been absolutely heroes. They have fed and taken care of and run the email and provided the cots and everything for right. hundreds and hundreds all the way until the end of this past May. So Matt, I would say that in the midst of all of this horror, I at least and many others have been truly inspired by the goodness we've seen. And I think the Lord has been working in that regard. You know, people obviously say, where was God? Cardinal Egan on September 11th and and they also have a question how could people have done this committed these horrific acts in the name of their own God well I don't know for sure Matt if that's the reason they did it but if they did it they're of course completely out of line but let me tell you I saw God here I was standing in front of St. Vincent's Hospital when the second building came down I was walking through ground zero for the days afterwards and I want to tell you that I saw the Lord in his people. I saw people who, Matt, were willing to walk into harm's way for others and ask nothing but to serve and nothing but to save. So I assure you that God was there. God was there inspiring the wonderful firefighters, police officers, emergency workers, health care professionals. Matt, one day I'm going to write a book if I ever can get retired and get a little time and describe what I saw. And let me assure you, the Lord was with every one of us. You are not only a religious leader in this city, you're now a New Yorker. I know you're from Chicago originally, but as a New Yorker, someone who lives very close to St. Patrick's Cathedral, have you been afraid in this last you year, Cardinal I, Egan? Not for one minute. And this all town is safe because this town is being protected by the greatest police department in the world a fire department of men who are the most dedicated and women who are the most dedicated that you can imagine. Yesterday morning I was at the funeral of Mayor Giuliani's dear mother and I think you know the heroism and the importance he gave to the protection of this town and my good friend Mayor Bloomberg is doing the same. New York is safe. Say to all of New York and to all of America, come and visit us. We're safe here. We're well protected and we're doing just fine. Cardinal Edward Egan, Your Eminence, thank you for your time this morning. I hope you'll come talk to me in the near future. Thanks, Matt. It's great to see you always. All right, and we should mention, according to a recent poll, 77% of Americans say they will pray on this September 11th. We're back right after this.